Adam, it seems that we are hearing about leaks out of the White House on a near daily basis now. Give us some context. Just how leaky is this administration? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I think all administrations uh, have their leaks. Uh, you know, uh, there certainly has been a, a large number in these uh, opening weeks of the Trump administration. You know, I, I do think uh, you have kind of have different kinds of leaks going on here. Uh, you have the kinds that uh, I think that the Trump administration wants out there, and then you have kinds that uh, they don't want out there. And so, obviously, that what we've what we uh, what we've been reporting here when it comes to the National Security Advisor Flynn is the uh, is the variety that they did not want uh, to come out. Of course, the, the story being published is not the end. It's often the beginning of the reaction. So let's pause for a minute and listen to what Donald Trump had to say in reaction. I think it's very, very unfair what's happened to General Flynn, the way he was treated, and the documents and papers that were illegally, I stress that, illegally leaked. Now, Trump is saying that the papers should apologize for publishing what he calls illegal information. Is there any consideration for journalists in that? Well, certainly. I mean, it's, uh, it's a scary uh, thing to hear that, uh, you know, there might be leak investigations. Uh, certainly, you know, we, uh, we as journalists increasingly take uh, precautions to try to protect our sources and to protect ourselves. Um, but nonetheless, uh, you know, uh, to have a free uh, press where we feel like we can pursue stories and the idea that, uh, you know, the administration, uh, you know, would pursue uh, the journalists uh, for doing that and, and the people that they uh, talk to, uh, it's obviously uh, could have a, an impact to make it harder for us to do our jobs. You know, there's sort of a journalistic shorthand, I find, that we start talking about leaks as though everybody should know precisely what that means behind the scenes. Give us a sense of what's actually happening. Are people getting the, the quintessential brown envelope, phone calls? Is it from people you know, people you've never heard of? No, I mean, I think it, I think it depends on, uh, on the journalist. I mean, I'm an intel reporter. I've been in covering intelligence now for, you know, close to 10 years. And so, uh, you know, I've, I get to know people uh, that are in various branches of the government, uh, you know, who who are, you know, uh, obviously seeing things that they feel like they uh, believe should be out there uh, that would otherwise be suppressed. Um, you know, it's, you know, uh, I'm sure there are other journalists who are getting envelopes. Uh, I, I haven't been a recipient of any envelopes. Uh, there's just so much distrust in Washington right now. Uh, and uh, it, frankly, I, I've never seen anything like it, and it's quite scary uh, for us as journalists uh, to be uh, in the middle of it. And now that we see that the White House is moving ever more aggressively to try to figure out who's leaking and take, one has to assume, some pretty strong action against them, do you no. suspect that those leaks will dry up or that people will push back? You know, frankly, I don't know. Um, you know, it, it, could, it could go either way. I mean, uh, I think it could come in phases. Uh, where, where, you know, maybe things uh, quiet down for a bit and then uh, things uh, open up again. It's really, it's really hard to know how this is going to play out. Adam, good to talk to you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you.